Hello everyone and welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name's Michael and I'm bitten by a radioactive book. Today we're starting off my new segment that you will find on Thursdays on my channel and it's called the female fantasy author feature. And we're starting this off with uh, the lovely Elizabeth Bear. As soon as I decided on making this new segment, Elizabeth Bear was one of the first authors that came to my mind because she has a highly imaginative approach on writing. Her prose is very good, very lyrical, and she always creates worlds that transcend genre. At the age of 43, she already has a lot of series published, and I want to introduce you to six of her series and hope that there's something for you in there. I want to start with her newest finished trilogy that had a lot of critical acclaim. It's the Eternal Sky trilogy. It starts with Range of Ghosts and it has a fantasy world reminiscent of the Silk Road and people um, yeah, that, that live around uh, the Silk Road. So uh, we have a, a, maybe a bit of a Mongolian feeling, rider people, uh, Khans, that is um, very interesting and we're following two characters Temur who is the grandson of a Khan and the heir to the Kaganat but uh, he yeah when we meet him he uh, limps away from a battlefield where he and his people lost and so he has not enough power to take the throne who is his by rights and so he has to go like underground and yeah figure out uh, how to uh, get to his throne. The other character we're following is Princess Samaka who is also an heir to a throne um, but after having like a failed political marriage she renounces like her worldly claims and decides to become a wizard and goes to the citadel of Tsarepath. And of course there is a higher evil power, uh, an evil cult who is responsible for all like the civil war and infighting around this Silk Road uh, scenario uh, called the Saladon Highway here. Um, and if you're looking for like a non-traditional fantasy setting, this is the place to start. Next up we have the Jenny Casey series, starting with Hammered. Jenny Casey is a middle-aged woman. She uh, was a former Special Forces um, operative for the Canadian Special Forces. It's a near-future science fiction scenario set in 2062. And now she works more on the street for crime lords, uh, her body starts to unravel, and suddenly she becomes a pawn in a greater game where she doesn't really know who the players are. And this sounds like a very interesting cyberpunk thriller. Next up we have Jacob's Ladder. This is a really imaginative setting. Imagine there is like a huge spaceship that is in orbit of a sun and this spaceship is kind of a metal fantasy world with uh, ruling houses with angels in it and the sun the uh, ship is drifting upon uh, it or is orbiting is actually the last remaining part of God so that is like a highly imaginative scenario and um, we're coming into the story when a servant girl releases a princess I think from sleep or captivity and yeah as I said this kind of scenario this blend of um, science fiction and fantasy with some religious themes seems really really interesting. Next up we have the Promethean Age starting with Blood and Iron. This is a very interesting uh, urban fantasy set in a contemporary setting. At least the first duology in the series is set in a contemporary setting which blends urban fantasy elements with the worlds of the fairy courts. 
and um, as the series progresses, the second duology takes place in Queen Elizabeth's time. So we have like like a time jump within the the series, or more than just one scenario. And there's also a fifth book that then again plays in modern times. And we're following Seeker, and Seeker is enslaved uh, by the Fairy Queen, and she has to look for children with magical abilities and adopt, uh, abduct them from our world uh, for the Fairy Queen. And these uh, children, uh, or children who are very special, uh, with huge or large powers are called Merlins there. So you see there are like different mythological elements and yeah, it, it reads like a really great blend of various mythologies um, and urban fantasy, a New York setting. Um, yeah, it's really, really interesting. Another series by her is The Edda of Burdens, starting with All the Windwrecked Stars. Uh, the Edda is the uh, mythological book or lyric that the Norse mythology is based upon. And here we have like a very unique blend. We have um, a science fiction setting, we have elements of um, the Norse mythology there with Valkyries uh, uh, and they, they ride like winged horses and uh, at the beginning we are at Ragnarok so the uh, uh, Nordic apocalypse and uh, we have like a few survivors and we follow these survivors then in a science fiction world scenario. So we have a blend of um, yeah, various things again, Norse mythology, a science fiction setting, a more fantasy story, there is a romance element in it, so it's a, a huge blend um, and it is a very interesting and fascinating scenario. And last but not least we have New Amsterdam, starting with the novel New Amsterdam. And this is an alternate reality history um, where uh, New Amsterdam was only ceded to the British Empire in uh, uh, or during the Napoleonic Wars. Uh, and the British Empire, I think, remained control over the US. And in there we have Abigail uh, Irene Garrett, and she is a investigator with um, uh, supernatural abilities uh, so we have like a uh, yeah a period piece like a I think like a female uh, Sherlock Holmes uh, maybe but in an alternate reality setting that involves magic so again there is like a, a great blend of fantasy and history elements and uh, yeah I'm really interested to see what this series is all about. So you already see Elizabeth Bear has a lot of different series with really highly imaginative approaches and if you are uh, if that is even not enough for you she has a new series or standalone I don't know but I'm pretty sure with her that it's the first one in a series uh, coming out in February actually Karen Memory uh, it is called it is a steampunk uh, blend of um, historical uh, alternate fiction again um, so you can look out for that as well in the near future but I think there should be enough in there for you to get started with reading Elizabeth Bear. Next week our featured author will be Jennifer Fallon and I hope to see you there. And of course if you like this video hit the like button, if you want to see more of me subscribe to my channel, if you want to know what's coming up on my channel please look inside the description box, there's a little segment there called On the Horizon. I wish you a good day and hope you get bitten by a really good book too. Bye.